Let us discuss a preparation plan and exam strategy for quantitative aptitude section of CAT 2016. This is the last leap and we need to ensure that our score improves by at least 8 to 10 questions in the last stage of our preparation. As far as quantitative aptitude is concerned, this is the most misunderstood section by majority of the student. Primarily because you know your mistakes and you assume that you will not repeat that mistakes next time. And second uh, reason is because most of the students are aware that in CAT 2014 and CAT 2015, the level of difficulty of quantitative section was slightly easier and hence they are assuming that it will be the same in 2016 also. However, this assumption can be disastrous and this can be, this can definitely backfire on the day of exam. Let us see how we can work on this section in the last leap of preparation. Step 1 will be to evaluate your strengths in areas of improvement at this stage. For that, we will take the base of last 5 mock cats. Most of these mock cats that you would be writing will be in online format. So, analyzing the same will not be a problem. Please utilize the software tools available and identify the first range of questions where you are getting 100 percent accuracy and you have been scoring consistently well in these chapters. So, you can eventually prepare a table where first column will be all those questions and chapters where you have been consistently scoring in all these 5 mocks that you have appeared last and that you are uh, in position to get them correct within 1, 1 and a half minute or maximum 2 minutes. Now, for example, uh, areas like percentage in its application, ratio in its application, average in its application, uh, sometimes basic geometry based questions, mensuration based questions. Most of the time, uh, a student is able to get this correct within 1 or 2 minutes and uh, these chapters are generally classified as easy, uh, not necessarily that in all the years these questions uh, will be easy, but generally classified as easy questions. So, when you try to list these, these type of questions, you will come to know that there are approximately 14 to 16 questions which you are consistently getting correct and in almost all the mocks and that too within 1, 1 and a half minute. Now, that means these 14 to 15 question will become the uh, questions in your first round of attempt during your actual exam. This is where you are supposed to capitalize on the day of exam. This is your strength. Second area or second column if you if you are preparing the table, second column will be the list of chapters or questions where you are attempting every time in your mock, but and and you thought that you are getting it correct, but your your accuracy is somewhere around 80 to 90 percentage and not 100 percent. Also, these are the questions which are taking little more than 2 minutes to attempt. So, that means these are the chapters where you think you are good at, but you are actually not good. You, you are not sure whether you will be able to get it correct or not. So, these are called area of improvement. Now, this is where you are supposed to work uh, during your preparation. So, uh, approach during the exam is different and approach during your preparation is different. During exam, you try to capitalize on your strength, get those questions in place where you are getting 100 percent accuracy at the time, uh, while at the time of preparation, your focus should be on your area of improvement that getting those questions which you are currently at 80 percent accuracy, converting them to 100 percent accuracy. So, start working on your areas of improvement, especially chapters like time and work, time and distance, PNC, because these chapters are uh, uh, something which can help you in your DIAR also. Remember what happened in CAT 2015, there were sets based on the concepts of time and work and PNC. Now, these and, and plus these questions can be comfortably converted into word problems and the level of difficulty can be increased any time uh, depending on the paper setter's mood. So, and these chapters are something which you cannot afford to take it lightly. This will consist of a major chunk in the entire paper and not just CAT, but other exams also. These chapters are something which cannot be avoided. Hence, please start working on these chapters. Secondly, uh, as far as exam strategy is concerned, on the day of exam is concerned, our first attempt should be to capitalize on your uh, uh, questions where you are scoring consistently. Allocate somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes and ensure that you are, uh, you have attempted 16 to 18 questions in the first round itself. This uh, 20, 25 minutes will include 4 to 5 minutes of scanning and approximately 1 minute per question for the attempts. So, if your scanning is really well, 
you will be able to hit the right set of questions in the first round. This will give you confidence to sustain yourself for the next 35 minutes. And in next 35 minutes, please remember, do not try to experiment so far. We still have another round which uh, consists of questions which are slightly time consuming and taking more than 2 to 3 minutes, but still worth it because we know at the end of 3 minutes, we will get one question correct. So, second round of 20, 25 minutes can be uh, dedicated to the uh, chapters where you think will take more time and ensure that you are attempting uh, somewhere around 10 to 12 questions. So, this will help you reach 26, 27 attempts at the end of uh, somewhere around 45, 50 minutes. You may still have 10 minutes. In some cases, you may just have 5 minutes. So, it makes sense to go back and uh, look at the questions that you attempted so far and see that uh, there is no pending question which you may have earlier marked for review. In case you have you are left with nothing and you still have 7, 8 minutes or 10 minutes, you can definitely go for a couple of experimental questions, but ensure you should not be in position to attempt those questions forcefully. Okay? There, there should be no peer pressure to attempt those questions. If, if the exam is tough, it is tough for everybody. So, what matters is how you react in a such a situation and uh, you know, uh, how, how you handle those tough questions. And finally, remember one thing, it is not necessary to attempt all the question irrespective of its level of difficulty, but it is very important to ensure that you get a correct answer to all the questions that you attempted so far. So, for student aspiring for 99 percentile and above, anywhere between 25 to 30 question can be considered as a good attempt uh, you know, depending on the level of difficulty. Uh, for student aspiring for 95 percentile and above, anywhere between 22 to 25, 26 question should be decent enough again depending on level of difficulty and student aspiring to ensure a minimum percentile cutoff for top B schools that is 80, 85 percentile and above anywhere between 18 uh, to 22 questions should be decent enough uh, with, with assuming that you know you are getting 100 percent accuracy, 18 to 22 questions should be decent enough. Wishing you all the best. Okay.